This is the first part of a procedural mountain creation tutorial and we start off with a simple polygon, a plane, created with a plane tool and it's set to have quite a few subdivisions because we need some geometry to actually displace. And we're going to displace the geometry using a texture, so we're going to use the texture deformer, deform texture we're going to simply use the normal to displace it, so up in this case, because all the normals are pointing up on this plane. And um, we're going to put a texture in there, and we're going to try to do F, keep everything procedural, so I'll do a 2D texture, and just put a ramp in there. We don't see much, but if I go back to my texture deformer and increase the strength, you see that it starts going up at one side. So you probably need quite a bit more strength for this. Whoa! Now it's really bent, but this is not much like a mountain, so we go back to our ramp and maybe we want to set it to a radial ramp, but not that one, the circular ramp. That's sort of interesting, but it's the wrong way around, so we've reversed that. Now we get a big pointy thing, so it should probably not be getting straight at the edges, so somewhere from the... So let's bring that in, so we get a sort of a cone. and. It's really pointy. Let's make it a little bit more smooth. So interpolation, set that to smooth, and we get something bulgy that could be the start of a mountain. So we created our first mountain, but we want some fractal detail on there. And we can simply do that by taking our texture deformer, and in the white for the texture, we can put a fractal in there. And there, we, there you have it. That's our fractal landscape. We would probably want to play a bit with the settings for it, because this was really high frequency, even f way more, more than a way higher frequency than the geometry we were using. And we can do all kind of fun stuff with it. And of course we can say how it's placed so we can also scale, we can rotate it, yay! And we can repeat it so we get more of them. Smaller mountains, or repeat them less, to get bigger mountains. So you can do all kinds of fun stuff with it. But this is a really easy way to start with a mountain landscape. But it's all grey and doesn't look like a, much like a mountain yet, so in step two will be to actually create some nice colour on this.